Hello all, welcome to ACAD Guild's full stack web development program. In this video, you will look into the list of server side REST APIs that are required for our app, understanding the application structure created using Express Generator tool, defining routes related to contacts in a router module, adding the routes to the middleware chain, testing the application with new routes. Let us now create server side APIs that are needed for our app. APIs expose endpoints. At an endpoint defines a path at which HTTP requests can be made. In our application, we will define two endpoints or routes. The first one is slash contacts. It handles HTTP get request to get a list of contacts. The second path or route is slash contacts slash search slash query parameter. This route handles HTTP GET request to search through contacts. Before implementing APIs, let us take a look at the project we just created. The generated project has a specific file structure. Let us understand the project structure. The first file that we are going to see is a package JSON. Package JSON file defines the application dependencies and other information. It also defines a startup script. This script is invoked when we call the npm start to start the server. The dependencies are here. Dependencies include express package, view engine used by the application. In our scenario, it is J, the cookie parser package, which is used to parse the cookie header. Morgan, which is an HTTP request logger middleware for Node.js. Here is a startup script. This script, as I mentioned, will get invoked when we call npm start. The application has a public directory. All the static files required for the application are stored under public directory. Static files include images, JavaScript files, and stylesheet files. The routes directory contains all the application routes that are required for the application. The views directory, the templates that are required for the application are stored under views directory. The bin slash www file is the application entry point. This file imports the express application object from app.js file. It sets up a known HTTP server. It sets a specific port and also listens and reports server errors and connections. So it listens to all the connections and uh, it is going to handle any sort of errors. The app.js file creates an express application object. It sets up the application with various settings and middleware. And then finally it exports the app from the module. Let us understand the code within this file. First, we import some useful node libraries into the file using require. Then we require modules from our routes directory. These modules or files contain code for handling particular sets of related routes or URL paths. So we have two modules, one for index, one for users. Next, we create the app object using our imported express module and use it to set up the view engine. We create the app object here and then set up the view engine. The next set of functions call app.use to add middleware libraries into the request handling chain. So these are app.use statements. 
that add middleware to the request handling chain. The last middleware in the file adds handler methods for errors and HTTP 404 responses. So this code here handles 404 errors as well as any other errors. The express application object is now fully configured. The last step is to add it to the module exports. The last line of code, it exports the configured express application object. Now this export allows it to be imported by the www file that we saw earlier. So here is where we are importing. Let us try to understand the routes. Let me open a routing module. A route can be thought of as a combination of a HTTP method, a path and a callback function. The callback function is invoked when a specific HTTP request with a method is made on a particular path of the application. One way to define routes is by using express router object. The flow of code looks like this. First, we load the express module. We then create a router object using express.router. Then we define one or more routes on the router object. Finally, we export the router object from the module. Let us create routes required for our application. The steps involved are create a router module for handling all the routes related to contacts. In this process, we will create a route for handling slash contacts and create another route for slash contacts slash search slash search text. The next step would be to add the routes to the middleware chain. First, we'll create a new file and name it as contacts.js. Let us import express and create a router object. For the router object, let us define routes. I will be creating two routes. One route will be handling the request for this HTTP request URL. The second one is going to be for handling the contact search. In the first route, the route consists of the HTTP method, which is get in this scenario, and the path which it is going to be uh, associated with is slash contacts. The function which is mentioned here is a callback function. This function gets called whenever there is a HTTP get request on slash contacts. The second route which is defined on the router handles the search contacts functionality. The path here is going to be slash contacts slash search with a search text which comes in as a parameter. This parameter will be saved under a parameter variable called as Q. And here, in order to retrieve that value, we'll be using the request object dot params dot Q. So this is how we define various routes. Once the routes have been defined, we will then have to export the router so that it is available uh, to import from other file. So we have now defined two routes, one route for slash contacts. The other route is for slash contact slash search, which is basically used for searching through the contacts. The first route is going to give us the list of contacts within our application. Second route is going to allow us to search the contacts. Now that we have defined the routes for handling contacts, we will have to add those routes to our request handling chain. So this should be done by changing the code within AppJS. 
So in my app.js, the first step is to import the routes which are related to contacts. The second step is to attach these routes to our application object. So we make use of app.use method and uh, these routes will be handled whenever user tries to navigate to slash contacts URL. So this makes our application handle the routes for listing the contacts and searching the contacts. Once we do this, let us now uh, verify whether these routes are available. Let me run this application. So my application is running or it is residing inside a folder, contact manager server. I will issue this command npm start. So once the application is started, let me open a browser. Within the browser, let me navigate to http colon slash slash localhost 3000. So this is our root URL of our application. Now this URL, if I change it to slash contacts, uh, when I press and enter here, I should see the message. This endpoint provides a list of contacts. Let me press and enter. You can see that the message is shown here. Now in order to test the second route, I will have to make use of contacts search along with some search text. So for example, if I want to search for a contact by name, Krish, I'm going to send that as a parameter, press and enter. So when I use this URL, I should get this message. This endpoint helps you to search contacts. Your search parameter is whatever is a parameter that I'm passing here. So, and we are seeing that message here. So this completes uh, the demo for defining the routes within your application. Thank you for watching this tutorial. In the next video, you will look into Node.js MongoDB connectivity. A cat killed. Average is dead.